Hello beautiful souls, how y'all doing? Welcome. I'm Brainy and this is Brainy Twin Gemini Channel where we talk about unconditional love, the purest form of love, discovering your soul purpose, spiritual fitness, law of attraction, manifesting miracles, life-changing healing music, and heal trauma. A little bit about me, I believe to be on the purest form of love journey known as twin soul love. I brushed shoulders with my beloved for a good couple of decades before we came into physical embodiment in 2019. It wasn't sustainable at that period of time or moment of time. So we went our separate ways, continued our awakening and our healing journey. And by the grace of God, we are together today. Merely just a messenger on this journey. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the channel just hit subscribe like and comment to be entered into a weekly giveaway first starting on valentine's day um, for a 30 minute message with myself and where you are in this collective energy if you're an existing sub thank you so much for returning back all you have to do is just put valentine giveaway this week for um, the job wednesday and then the subsequent um weeks it'll be just giveaway in the comment section so good luck everybody um and welcome again so i'm going to get started with this beautiful message as it as it uh, resonates for masculine energy bearing in mind that not everything will resonate so kindly just pack away what doesn't um, and keep what does and this message is always beautiful beautiful loving energy this channel is a loving vibe high vibes um, and thank you all so much for supporting each other the way that you do um, keep doing it, um, your beautiful, beautiful souls. So something very um, good is happening with this masculine energy um, as they get closer to the truth and source and spirit, God, God, divine, universe, however you resonate. Um, they've like learned a lot of lessons on this journey, and that is what you do for each other. But the fundamental and most important lesson they've learned recently is this unconditional love. And this is one of the greatest lessons of, of this journey, is understanding that unconditional love. And this masculine has unconditional love for you, obviously, most importantly, but they're developing an unconditional love for themselves and those around them. And so that is one huge lesson that they've come to, um, and it is so, so beautiful. Um, this This energy has been just incredible and transformative for this masculine they're morphing into this beautiful butterfly as you are too uh divine feminine energy um they there is and this continues to happen um they are i want to say curious about what you're up to um because they're being pushed and pulled to make a, a strong a bold move towards you um they just want to bear everything and just because they've reconciled with this unexplained love for you. So when they were navigating their journey, it, everything was, um, I want to say they were in a state of confusion um, because they couldn't reconcile, nor did they want to. Um, it was easier for them to deny the love that they had for you than to reconcile it. They're reconciling with that now, and it's beautiful. Um, and they're very curious about what you're up to. Um, they, you know, they want, um, as I said, they want to make moves. So. They're seeing if the, the pathway is clear, so to speak. And I'll tell you something. When I was in physical separation with my beloved, um, when I made a, that, that bold decision to move forward and just to go to him, I had my daughter drive by um, his house to see if his vehicles were there because um, we were in different cities. So it's nothing malicious, absolutely not malicious at all. Curious. Um, and that, that, that curiosity is actually very good um, because they are wanting to make a, a bold move forward. Um, they've, they've, they've learned oodles and oodles of lessons. And I feel like I said, the, the most important lesson is this um, unconditional love that they have for you. Um, I, I want to talk about um, deceit. Now... I don't know why I'm getting this energy and this message about deception um, with this masculine energy. I don't think it like it's nothing that they're being deceitful to the feminine energy, but I just feel like 
maybe there, there's this deception in their orbit right now and i feel like that could be one of the lessons um that they need to learn as well um i i feel like something's coming in from the past to this masculine's um aura or orbit and it's 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 a deceptive energy and they're going to casually just push them away um it's gonna hurt um it's gonna pull at their heartstrings it's someone very close to them um and it's just an awe like moment like why haven't i seen this like i should have i should have seen this sooner so i feel all and i felt i felt this for the last uh week or so that this collective energy specifically as it resonates for the masculine they're, they're um ascending to greater heights they're accelerating on their journey and they're getting close to um source spirit when you get close to, so this is a soul journey to spirit when you get closer to spirit source god universe however you resonate you get profound knowledge and wisdom and there you and you end up listening to that inner guide more and not subduing it and you know not allowing the ego to navigate so it is so beautiful they're taking off their masks and when they take off their masks um and these any attachments that they may be feeling or having um they get to their pure raw, raw vulnerable self true authentic self and when you're in that true authentic self higher self higher consciousness however you resonate that is when you get profound truths and courage confidence um, you start navigating with the voice of the heart as opposed to the voice of um, or the pollution of thought so super 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 another thing where um, with this this the this this deception or I feel like um, it, it could have also to do with the uh, um, inner child wounds resurfacing coming up sometimes what we do in um, our lives not everyone um, I'm, I, I don't know if I speak for one or a thousand or whomever it may be. Um, if there's severe trauma, um, it, you, you block it out um, and you have no recollection of it. It's there. It's part of who you are. It's part of your soul DNA. But it's, it's natural sometimes to block that energy um, or not energy, those memories, I guess. Um, and it's it's sometimes a natural phenomenon like you don't recall but then when you come into each other you are, have the most intense triggers um, for one another in love in healing and awakening all sorts of things and I feel maybe like this your masculine has um, gone to this this dark tr darkness this trauma within themselves and that is maybe where the deception is, is, is coming from because you're meant to heal trauma. Um, I always say, and again, you know, take, take my messages as, as you will. I'm not no means but a therapist by any stretch of the means, but I have had several psychologists um, come to me via email um, asking me questions. But uh, trauma is part of our soul DNA. We learn how to deal with it. We learn how to live with it. We, know, we, le we learn how to nurture and subdue the beast within but it's still part of us um, it's still part of who we are and you sometimes will have these like i said intense triggers um, to heal um, but you're like a mirror of each other you share the same traumas um, so um, it could be a broken heart previous broken heart like you know um, you're with karmic partners soulmates whatever it may be and your heart has been continued to be broken over and over again by these these um these souls so it could be anything um you're very telepathically um connected in 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 this moment you can feel each other you can hear each other you um you know it you support you're supporting each other i feel like unconditional love is so out there right now because of this masculine coming into this this great wisdom of, of what your connection truly is and i just love it and um one thing um about you feminine uh energy this masculine thinks you're absolutely gorgeous beautiful 
a princess and a goddess and a queen. Um, your beauty is always within them. And they're always, 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 you're always in their, in their heart and in their head. Um, if they could say anything else, what would they say to you? And <clears throat> I'm seeing the signs and synchronicities. They all remind me of you. I love this. They are receiving outstanding, profounding signs. And they're asking, actually asking God, Source, Divine, Universe, for a sign. Um, is this truly what I think it is? I have the most beautiful um, love in my heart, it, unconditional love for my divine counterpart. Can you please send me a sign to let me know that this is truly what I know and believe to be true? So it's such a beautiful, beautiful. Um, they are balancing their energy. Um, their energy, you know, thank goodness, because it was off the rails. Um, for, I want to say, a good few days. So they're doing their best to balance um, your energy because of this en energy transference. So you share um, the same energy, um, I want to say, orbit, aura. It's true. This is a crazy, crazy, crazy journey. Um, it's like, if you're new, welcome <laughs> to the roller coaster ride of emotions. Um, it's not a Cinderella story, but it's all about balancing that yin yang energy within us, feminine, masculine energy. And, you know, each energy has um, very, very, very good attributes, and then some of them um, not so much. So, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I know that this is a past life connection. How wonderfully beautiful is this? Um, this masculine is actually dreaming of this past life connection. And this, again, is this wisdom, this lesson that they've learned. It's all about lessons, and it's all very beautiful. And um, most importantly, uh, I've tried so many times to communicate. This came out yesterday. It's coming out again. Um, but I just haven't found the courage to hit the send. They are finding that courage because God is giving them that courage, that um, clarification that you know that just the clarity of what they've always known in their heart but they were um, denying themselves of the greatest gift and blessing that you both have received so it is it communication is on the forefront here and it is beautiful and I love it all so much uh, the first chakra also too for this masculine is in purification so it, it, there's no right away how to navigate, right? You don't start at the root, you can go to the crown or vice versa, crown to the root. It's what needs clearing and purifying at that moment in time. And it, it is an evolving process and it will be for, I wanna say, your journey here while you inhibit the temple, the vessel, right at this moment in time on earth. So it, it's a lifelong process of purifying um, because unfortunately we live in a low vibrational um, world with just low vibration because there's many, many unawakened souls. So when you awaken and you, you get to the beauty of who you're truly meant to be, um, these unawakened souls look at you like you have two heads. Um, it, it's a low vibration. So naturally you're going to be purifying and purifying and purifying. Um, so it is a root chakra, color red. Um, it's located at the base of the spine. It forms our foundation. It governs our understanding, grounding, and connectedness to the physical world. When developed, it brings us health, prosperity, security, and dynamic presence. Um, what, I, what I like about this one is it governs our understanding and um, grounding and connectedness, balancing, grounding, um, understanding, this is a very, very perplexing journey. And I'm so glad you made it here because hopefully um, you will get the answers that you're seeking. We're all different. Our, our DNA, our genetic blueprint is different. Our journeys will naturally be different. We have different hurdles, different traumas, different obstacles, just different lessons that we need to learn, different karmic contracts that we need to fulfill, soul purpose, all sorts of different things. Um, but understanding it, in, and accepting it is probably one of the one of the most 
fundamental, I want to say, um, triumphs. You know, once you understand and accept it in the physical world for what it is, it's beautifully, it's a, it's a wonderful milestone. And I love it also very much. Um, three other beautiful messages for your beautiful loving souls. A new love is coming your way. Yet in order for this to manifest, you must first release the past. Are you ready? All it takes is a conscious desire to do so. I forgot to mention this message that I uh, meant to say earlier. Um, remove yourself from chaos and conflict if you can. Spend some time alone um, and just um, let go of any anything that's harboring bitterness within you from the past. I always say the best the best uh, course of medicine and action um, is to write it down. Writing it down is acknowledging it. Um, so what truly is like within you that you cannot let go of? Write it down. Um, writing it down is letting it go to believe. So if you have chaos and conflict in your life, step back, take some time alone and, and just start writing down the things that, um, you know, you, you feel that that's hindering your movement forward. Love it. Love it so much. The quality of your thoughts equals the quality of life experience. Thoughts are living energies that have an enormous influence on what you attract into your life. Think love and that's what you will attract. I've, like I said, smoke, spoken to so many thousands of people. There's so much magic that occurs on this channel. Um, souls coming back into each other each and every day. Um, and that's one of the things I always say. Um, think love and that's what you will attract. Um, when I was in physical separation from my beloved, I was always man like re not realizing manifesting physical separation because I was always we're physical in separation, we're physically in separation, not realize, realizing that I was inviting that into my life. When I started manifesting physical touch and just us being to together in the physical, it was probably about two months after that that we were in the physical. Thoughts are absolutely living energies, and it's what you put out there, it's what you bring back. So beautiful, 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 love, 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 unconditional love. Keep manifesting that, beautiful souls. And life is constantly changing, yet at its core, it remains the same. Love does not change, it only grows stronger. Change is simply love unfolding its never-ending story. You both are morphing into a butterfly, like rebirth, transforming, um, and even though you're changing, um, th the core remains the same. The core is who you are. Um, you just get to that truth, but, but it's always been there. And I love that so much. Signs, synchronicities, serendipity, deja vu, all of these beautiful things occur when you come together. Um, I believe they're a little bit of a constant, well, not a little bit, a lot of constant, um, Re, I want to say encouragement and re, uh, I guess, mm, affirmation of this journey. Um, you, you see the sun, you see the numbers, you see everything. It's not a coincidence. It's absolutely 100% is not. You're meant to see it. Don't go looking for it. Don't stare at the, you know, at the, your phone and wait for, you know, it to turn to 11, 11 and go, oh, I saw 11, 11. It will come to you naturally. You won't look for it, and, and you already know that. Um, animals are, I want to say, the most beautiful, um, I want to say, encouragement on this journey, and they're just wonderful. God's um, artwork, playground, whatever, um, source, divine, universe, however you resonate, it, they're just beautiful. And I believe they come to you um, when, in, when they're meant to. And for feminine animal spirit message today, it's nightingale spirit. And the message is love is all around. So as this, you know, as this masculine opens up to the unconditional love and accepts that gift, you are feeling oodles of love. And you, beautiful, have done amazing, outstanding, and it's your beauty and your unconditional love that emanates that energy transform transference to give that masculine the confidence that they need. What a beautiful soul you are. Um, the masculine animal spirit message today is mouse spirit. 
tend to the small things, which I feel like they're doing. Um, they are tending to the small things. They're learning lessons. They're um, detaching, um, taking off the masks. They're doing all sorts of things for them, um, which is good because they're very, very kind, beautiful, loving soul, just as you are. And people often take advantage of your kindness. And um, this masculine is tending to the small things and tending um, to themselves first and putting themselves first. And I love it all so very much. And the overall animal spirit message for the Twin Flame Collective, ironically, is elephant spirit. Learn from the past. Absolutely. The past is meant to teach us lessons. It's not a life sentence, not meant to live there. You can go back there to remind yourself what you need, what lesson need to be learned. But um, living there is a life, like a prison sentence, you know? Um, and that's what I was saying earlier. Um, you know, remove some of the chaos and the conflict, spend some quality time alone. What is something that of the past that you cannot let go? Write it down, just release it and live in the moment because the moment is truly all what we have. And if you're living in the past and you're living in the future, then you're not giving your, um, you're not allowing yourself to see the beauty of the moment of now. Um, and it just, it just robs you like it truly does of your peace, your harmony, your bliss within. So that's what I have for you beautiful souls today. If any of this resonates, um, again, if you're new, subscribe, like, and comment. Love your comments. And if you're an existing sub, just like and comment. And I love all your comments. And I wish each and every one of you blessings on this very tumultuous journey. Have a great day, folks.